One thing I, I just can't understand and is making me upset is what what Scott Brooks is trying to accomplish with this team. I, I, I don't get it. Um, I don't know if his job is secure for the future or something because he's not coaching like a coach whose job is potentially on the line. It, it's, it's flabbergasting to me that you got a team, right, who – Gives up 140 points and whatnot to the Celtics. All these points to the Rockets. 70 points and a half to the Cavaliers. 70 points and a half to the Timberwolves without Anthony Towns. 70 points and a half to the Pacers with no Miles Turner, with no Oladipo. So it's like, okay, yeah, you talk about we practice defense, 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 defense. Okay, that's cool. What I'm failing to understand is at what point you come to the realization that, okay, this team just may not be good defensively. We got guys who just are really challenged defensively. So what am I going to do as a coach to, you know, try to minimize the damage as much as I possibly can so we don't go out there and give up 150,000 points in four quarters? What am I going to do as a coach? Because as a coach, your job is to put your players in the best possible position to win. When has Scott Brooks done that? When has Scott Brooks, when have you said, dang, Scott Brooks put together a great plan, a great game plan for the Wizards to win this game? Or has it always been, dang, John Wall went off. Dang, Bradley Bill went off. Dang, Morris had a good game. Dang, Gortat had a good game. When has it ever been Scott Brooks implemented a great game plan. Now let's come back to the future, to the, I mean to the current, to the present. You got the Wizards, right? You got Isaiah Thomas. Liability. He's always been a liability, right? Nothing changed from his Celtics days to his Wizards days. He didn't get worse defensively. He's always been bad. He's always been bad defensively. But you know what Brad Stevens did? You know, he saw the players he had. He had a lot of defensive-minded guys. So to minimize the damage, no, he didn't run 2-3 zone. He didn't run zone just to cater to Isaiah Thomas. He had Avery Bradley there. He had Marcus Smart there. He got big men behind him who were deterrents in the paint, Al Horford. Um, what's his name? Aaron Baines. He had guys there to bail him out. Do the Wizards have that? No, not at all. Thomas Bryant, liability defensively. Not a paint presence at all. Don't deter at all. And that's not his fault. Some guys have it, some guys don't, and he just don't. You know, you can teach as much as possible, but you either got it or you don't. Rui Hachimura, offensive guy. Always struggle defensively. We've known that. So, okay, you want to keep Hachimura in the game. You want to keep him starting. I respect that. I want him starting. I get that. Thomas Bryant. You want him starting. I like Thomas Bryant. I get that. You know, I say you decide on who playing better. Mo Wagner, who plays a little bit better defensively, or Thomas Bryant. Pick and choose who playing better in that game. But, okay, you want to start Thomas Bryant, too, who's a liability. Okay. Ish Smith ain't that much better defensively, but he ain't as bad as Isaiah Thomas in the eye test. Maybe the statistics say different. But it's like, you just go roll out there with Isaiah Thomas, Hachimura, Thomas Bryant. Three bad defensive players on the court and say, go out there and get stops, guys. Hustle. Okay. Okay, and what has happened every game this season almost? Except for like maybe two games against the Thunder and against who? The Pistons? What has happened in every other game? How many points have they given up? Scott, talk to me. Because it's, it's, it's confusing me. Because it's like, you got to make a change somewhere, somehow. You got to send Isaiah Thomas to the bench to play with Mo Wagner, who's a little bit better defensively. Okay, you don't want to do that because maybe I promised them a starting spot. But it's like, bro, are you not coaching for your job? I thought your job was to put the best lineups out there on the court. I know the analytics. Look at the analytics. Look at that rating. Just look, just look at the numbers. Maybe you don't want to believe in the numbers, but you got to look at the numbers. Look at the plus minuses. Oh, my goodness. Negative 20, negative 15, negative 14, negative, 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 negative. 
I mean, what are we, what are we doing here? Every time I look at the field goal percentage, 50%, 40% from the three, 56% from the field, 48% from the field, 49% from the field. It's like, then you want to trot lineups out like against the Celtics today. You want to trot out Bertans at the five. Okay. You want to trot out Ish Smith, Isaiah Thomas, Thomas Bryant, Rui Hachimura, or Bradley Bell. You've scored like 114 points in the fourth quarter. Any other team, that is a great win right there. But for the Wizards, no. Why do you have this lineup on the game to try to play catch up? Your issue is not the offense. You have 114 plus points in the fourth quarter. Your issue is obviously not offense. The issue is for your 114, the opposition has 130. That's your problem. And while you putting Bertans in at the five with Hachimura and, and then taking Bertans out to put Thomas Bryant in with Hachimura and Ish Smith and Isaiah Thomas, what are we doing here? Who are you expecting to come back on with that defense? What stops are they getting? Scott, talk to me. What stops are they getting? Realistically, speak to me. Because I don't get it. I honestly don't get it. Um, It's just frustrating because... I feel like this team actually has some talent. I feel like this team should have won way more than just two games. But, you know, Brooks just put them in a position constantly to lose. He doesn't He doesn't put them in positions to win. And this is why, you know, they have the talent to come back on guys, but they don't have the coaching to complete to come back and to win games. It's just not fair, and I'm sorry. But it's like... When is management, when is we, you know, the fans have been doing it. But when is management going to be like, all right, we may just have to look somewhere else. Scott Brooks just ain't the guy to lead us into the new era. I don't know, man. It's just frustrating. And I got to rant on it because it's like, bro, I've seen that product like they did against the Celtics with those numbers, with those numbers, twice now. 70 points and a half, multiple times now. So it's like. Practice, 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 practice. We practice defense. We practice defense. Defense, defense, defense. But it's like, you know who's bad defensively. You know who's okay defensively. But it's like, all right, let's just throw all the offensive guys out on the court. Forget defense. We just going to try to outscore everybody. And we're going to run a 2-3 zone in the NBA consistently and expect to run it correctly and not get dotted up. What are we doing here? What what are we doing here? I'm just trying to understand. Somebody explain it to me. Maybe I'm just not smart. I'm not an NBA coach. I don't get paid millions to coach NBA players. So maybe that's what the issue is. Y'all got to help me out because I don't get it. But that's all I got to say. Um, whew, Scott Brooks is it, just, I had to get it off my chest today. I, I just don't know what he's doing. I, I don't know what he's doing. But... All right, I'm out.